Welcome to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel where we talk about our national pastime, which is illustrated with baseball cards. This is a special edition of Through the Mail Thursday, coming to you on location at an actual 2020 baseball game featuring Major League talent. That's right, that's what you're looking at here. More on that in a moment. But this is the series in which we send out some of the cards we come across in the big show in the hopes of getting them back signed. I'm Bronco. And I'm Kevin still, for now. And we're pleased to report we got responses from three, count them, three players in the past week. Well, you wrote five there. <laughs> Might have been an old script. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is a special edition because we have live, honest to goodness, baseball. Not to, men not to give too many secrets away, but this is being taped on location on a Sunday at Milkman Stadium, which is hosting Rock League Baseball between the Lugnuts and the Rangers in the 55-plus league. Now, you may ask why, because pitching in this contest are a couple of former big leaguers. You've got Don August, you got Tom Clawiter, and we'll uh, bring you some of the action shortly. But first, let's talk some autographs, Bronco. Okay, you got that on camera? <laughs> there it is, there it is. Ted Power is the pride of Guthrie, Oklahoma, and foul ball almost came this way. <laughs> yeah, and, gotta watch out. <laughs> and pitched for 13 years in the big leagues. Posting a career mark of 68 and 69 and an ERA of exactly four. And uh, that's his 1988 Fleer card. Nice card for the era. Looks uh, looks good. He broke into the show in 1981 with the LA Dodgers, but found more success in his next stop, which was with the Cincinnati Reds. He won 10 games in both 1986 and 1987, posted an ERA under three in 1984 and 1985, and saved 41 games in the first two stints, first of two stints with the Red Legs. Ironically, his only postseason appearance came in 1990 while he pitched for Pittsburgh against the Reds. He pitched in three games of the 1990 NLCS and picked up a save while allowing two runs in five innings as Cincinnati won the series four games to two. By the way, we've got a strikeout and an out at first here on that on that play. So you got to remember that because you know it's been a while since we've had baseball. Yeah, right. We have to remember how that works. So next is Kevin Romine. This is a 1989 upper deck. Kevin Romine played parts of seven seasons, all with the Boston Red Sox. The infielder hit five home runs in the bigs and batted 251, 331 career games. He has two sons that would also go on to reach the majors, Andrew and Austin. Andrew is an infielder who's played parts of nine seasons at the top level. He was in spring camp with the White Sox this year. Uh, Andrew's hit 235 in 581 games, has launched 10 long balls for the Angels, Tigers, and Mariners. Austin Romine is a catcher who's seen big league action for the Yankees in parts of eight seasons. He was in spring camp earlier this year with the Tigers. Uh, he leads the family home run derby with uh, 25 round trippers, 368 career games, batted 239. After retiring from baseball, Kevin Romine, the dad here, became a police detective in the state of California. Also, did Andrew Romine play all nine positions in a game a couple I years ago? I think you mentioned that recently. Yeah, that was that was something. And then uh, this one here. Oh, we got we got right. action. All right, that's a fly ball to center. Oh, a little trouble with that one. And yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a single. It's, uh, sometimes you're watching that play. There you go. <laughs> Mark Parent spent 13 years in the big leagues, appearing in 474 games with seven different organizations. The catcher's best year came in 1995 when he clubbed 18 homers and drove in 38 runs while batting 234 in a season split between Pittsburgh and the Chicago Cubs. Parent did not play for the Chicago White Sox, but would return to the show as a bench coach for the team in 2012. For what it's worth, Parent is named, was named the MVP of the Dominican Winter League for the 1987-88 season. And this is a 1989 Topps card there for Mark Parent. So some 2020 baseball from uh, Milkmen Stadium, this facility home to the Milwaukee Milkmen, an independent baseball club that began last year. So uh, what you're seeing on the mound right now, this is Tom Clawiter, uh, Wisconsin native. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and uh, tell, tell the folks about this guy. Seven big league appearances with the Twins, drafted by the Dodgers back in 1980. Uh, oh, he makes a play. Oh, yeah, it's still an out. It works. The unintentional 1-6 put out there at second base. That is, uh, that is what we like to call an out anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, Clowder drafted by the Dodgers in 1980, signed with the Twins as a free agent in 83 and called up in 85, did not record a decision in seven appearances, an ERA of 675 and nine and a third inning, struck out five and walked 13. Locally in, uh, in Wisconsin, made a name for himself after his career as a physical ed teacher and basketball coach at Janesville Parker High School. 
uh, the first basketball team to uh, 16 conference titles, 12 state tournaments, three titles, state titles in 26 seasons. He won 564 games, fifth in state history among Wisconsin high school girls basketball coaches. Now retired, but still active as you can see as he's uh, bringing this one home. I'm gonna say it's two to nothing here in the top of the fourth inning as we come to you from Milkman Stadium on a special edition of Baseball Card Illustrated, or I guess we should call it Guys That Were On A Baseball Card <laughs> Illustrated. Today. Well, we looked and Clowder is was on a card, a TCMA minor league card <laughs> from his time at the Toledo Mud Hens back in the early mid 80s, I think it was 83 or 84. So he's opposed today, brought up by uh, Don August, a name that especially Brewers fans will remember. I say Don August pitched for the Brewers for four parts of four seasons, starting in 1988 when he went 13 and seven with a 3.09 ERA, a year in which he finished fourth in the American League Rookie of the Year voting. You know who won the Rookie of the Year that year? Tell me the year again. 1988. 88. So you know it was an Oakland day because Oakland won all the American League Rookie of the Years in that era. Yeah, they literally did. Walt Weiss is going to be your winner there. Walt Weiss, very good. Um, Don August also was the winning pitcher in the first game ever played at the Sky Dome. Really? He ended up going 12 and 12 in 1989. Shot down the line there. That's first and third right there. Hustling first around. First to third here in the Rock League. Mike Sosha style. <laughs> it's like I'm watching the Angels play. Um, Don August finished 34 and 30 in his big league career with an ERA of 4.64, striking out 181 in 440 innings. He appeared with the Brewers from 1988 to 1991. And one of the things that is in the local paper, they were talking about this game happening today, and he said, Walks will hurt you at any level. One of the two runs that the Rangers, the team in blue here that are pitching right now, one of the two runs they scored came when a guy reached on a walk and then scored on a wild pitch. How about that? So it's 2-0 right now in favor of the team in blue, the Rangers, but uh, your team in white here, the Lugnuts, close to breaking through first and third. Clawwater worked out of a jam in the first inning, stranding runners at first and second, and Lugnuts really haven't done much since, but now they're in business here in the fourth. So it's Baseball Card Illustrated, a little uh, extra edition of Through the Mail Thursday, plus a little actual live actual baseball. baseball. Who look. knew? Who knew that it's still happening? Ooh, throw to first. That's the second time he's almost gotten a runner at first with that move. Lefty with the pickoff move. You could, you could tell that's something you worked on a lot in his professional days. Dodgers and the Twins. So we have no idea how they got the names, the Rangers, which, you know, that's a baseball name, that makes sense, and the Lugnuts, which... It's a minor league team, but I don't know how they made it. They made their way from Lansing to here. Look at the room in foul territory. Nope. Almost. Almost. I, I think he might have gotten a glove on that. Fresh life for 15 at the plate here. So the fun can, of this... Can we name him? Just give him a name. You, you, you want to make up the backstory? All right, go ahead. You give you give him a. Uh, uh, you want to give him a first name? I'll give him a last name. All right, we got uh, Stephen. All right, so it's Stephen Astacio, <laughs> and he's a uh, a CEO at uh, Harley <laughs> Davidson in Perfect. Milwaukee. Wow, the actual CEO is a little he's nervous got, right now. And he's spending his Sunday out here playing baseball. How about that? Ball off the outside part of the plate. So the joy of it is, without Major League Baseball, without Minor League Baseball, you actually have some fans. I'm going to give you a quick pan here. It's not a ton, but there are a handful of fans here. My guess is this is way more they would normally get. I would think so, yeah. Yeah, this is baseball with some Major Leaguers. Right. <laughs> Maybe a few years ago, but... <laughs> Good times at the ballpark. Yeah, it's fun to see... And it's fun to just be at the at the ballpark, just to you know experience the atmosphere. I say you even got your hot dog today. I did. So I ate a hot it's dog. It's an official game. It's swing and a miss. Look at that. End of the wrap up things here in the fourth. So from Milkman Stadium, I'm Bronco. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching uh, this uh, edition of Through the Mail Thursday, and uh, to those three players nice enough to fulfill the autograph request, as well as Don August and Tom Clawiter. Thank you very much. Coming up on Sunday on the big show, Kevin and I will dop it, drop, dive, something, learn how to read. We'll be getting all into 1986 tops. We will verb into 1986 tops. <laughs> and by the way, if you want a noun for 86 tops, it is ugly.